I step on stage, break a leg and a ligament. I step on stage, break a leg and a ligament. All right, everybody. Lance Adams again. Fudo Shin Jiu Jitsu, Mixed Martial Arts and Fitness. Team B Smoke Killer. With us, we have a new warrior coming on out the stables, coming out on November 8th. This is Hot Oil. The Nicaraguan Nightmare Chavaria Lopez. Okay, y'all ain't think I could say all that, but I got it right. Okay, the Nicaraguan Nightmare, he's coming to us, you know, been training with us for a, a, a good many months, come with a good amount of experience. He is stepping into the ring against a guy named Jackson Perry out of Charleston, South Carolina. Now, here's the thing about it. We don't know much about Jackson. Of course, you know, we look at fighting video and stuff like there's really nothing out there about Jackson. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let him kind of tell you about what he's been doing, how he's been preparing for this fight pretty much against somebody who you don't even know that's out there. So we want you to tell how your training camp has been, what your experience is, and what you look to do on November 8th. Well, my training camp has been intense. I've been in the military for two and a half years, going through basic and everything. It was a challenge, but this by far has pushed me to the next limit as far as cardio wise, mentality wise, and physically wise. So I just hope this guy is ready. His camp is intense enough as it was for us because I'm going. I'm going for it and there's no turning back for now. Okay, so tell me what is, what is it about that uh, you feel going into this fight that's going to give you an advantage? Uh, you don't know this guy, we really don't know what his background is, his style. Why do you feel that you can go in there and you can be the dominant and the more vicious force that's going to be in the ring on that night? Simple reason is, why, is because the way we train is realistic. We don't go easy on each other. Uh, me and our, myself and the teammates, we train real hard and at the end, shake hands because we're all family. But while we're in the ring, while we're training, everything's intense. That's all it's about. Okay, good. So you are, so you are a soldier. Okay, so I'm assuming that there are going to be a lot of soldiers that's going to be there to support you. So anything you want to say out there to your fellow Army Armed Force brothers out there right now on camera? Roger, I appreciate everybody that's coming out to see me, work-wise, uh, friends of uh, work-wise, people I work with. You guys are my inspiration as well, coming to see me. You guys have a lot of hopes and belief in me, so I'll make sure that I don't let you guys down. Okay, and also in case y'all haven't realized, you know, he is Hispanic. I know we look alike and everything like that. I might just be, a, you know, a little bit more darker, you know, you know, kind of stuff like that. So is there anything you want to say to any of your Hispanic brethren and sisters that's out there and, and you know, in their dialect that they can look on here right now, if they click on it and they can see something? There ain't no dialect for us. Fire is all the same. Fire is all the same. Okay, well, that was, you got it right there. Like I said, this is a very explosive fighter. He came to Team BMK, you know, saying he wanted to fight, and he has not let anybody here down. Okay, now on top of that, he is also a combatant instructor for the U.S. Army. He's training soldiers, or he is actually training members of our armed forces that is out there that is, um, you know, who are protecting our country. So on top of him stepping and representing the cage, he's not just representing the school or Team BMK in the cage, he is also representing thousands and thousands of soldiers that's out here protecting our country. And he's going to go in the cage and he's going to show, you know, what that diabolical, hardcore, intense training is all about. So, uh, Chavaria, before you go, is there anything else you want to say? You want to say anything to your opponent that's out there if you happen to be looking on this video at this time? I hope you make your doctor appointment because you're going to have to see your doctor after the fight. Team BMK! All day. I ain't got to say nothing else, baby. Team BMK, we coming. Conflict MMA, November 8th. Make your doctor's appointment. And not at the urgent care. They ain't going to be able to do it. <laughs>